Welcome to Electron Line. With this example, you can see how sometimes you can be very fooled by an infinite sum. Let's go ahead and write out what this is equal to, the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n. And so that becomes fairly simple when you write it out. This is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. And I'll just write a few of the terms because we're going to need them. Plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7, plus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 9, and so forth. Now, at first when you look at it, you say, well, why doesn't this converge? Because the fractions become smaller and smaller and smaller, and in the end, as n approaches infinity, you're going to be adding zeros at the very, very end. But yet, somehow, this series diverges. It doesn't converge to a single number. That seems very odd. And how can we show that this doesn't converge to a single number? Well, what we can say is that this series will be smaller than another series that we can come up with. Hmm. Oh no, not smaller than. Actually, what we're going to say is going to be larger than. What we can say is that 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6, plus 1 over 7, plus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 9, plus, and you'll see in just a moment why I'm using all those numbers, and so on to infinity, will be larger than the following. 1 over 1, plus 1 over 2, plus 1 over 4, plus 1 over 4, plus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 16, plus, and so forth. So what did I do? Well, the first term, 1 over 1, is still the same, 1 over 1. That's equal to 1. The second term, 1 over 2, is the same as 1 over 2. But what about the next two terms? I take 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4, and I, I replace it by 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Now, the last fraction is the same but the first fraction, one-third, is larger than one-fourth, and hence that's why I use this symbol. This is larger than that. Then the next four elements of this sum right here, 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 8, is now replaced by four 1 over 8s added together. And again, I can say that these four must be smaller than those four when I add them together, and that's indeed the case. Then I can take the next 8, all the way from 1 over 9 to 1 over 16, and replace them by 8 1 over 16s. What happens now is when I start adding the right side together, I end up with 1 plus 1 half. When I add those two together, I get plus 1 half. When I add those four together, I get 1 over half. When I add the next 8 together, I get 1 over half. When I add the next 32 together, I get 1 over half. And you can see that I continue adding more and more terms on the right side. I simply get 1 plus 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half out to infinity forever. And of course, since I can keep adding 1 halves to it, this sum will never converge to a single number. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger by halves. And since this on the left has to be bigger than this on the right, if this one doesn't converge, I know that this one does not converge either. And so you can say that it does not converge, or with other words, it diverges, and the sum, the infinite sum, which is equal to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n, is equal to infinity. So strangely enough, when you see this, that every term becomes smaller, smaller, smaller. When you do the clever trick, and of course, that's something you probably wouldn't think of by yourself, but after a while, when you see all these very examples, you go, oh, okay, this is a nice little trick. If the right side doesn't converge, and this is bigger than the, than the right side, then the left side doesn't converge as well, and that's how you show it.